first G6 was the Shaka Broadcast. Back in 2010, uh, Folsom G6 Blues. My first G6 was uh, West Coast AWCC um, scale challenge. I ran the uh, West Coast and I had my first wreath out of the box. Um, Parker said, hey, you gotta come run this. Uh, I ran it and uh, it was incredible. Uh, I've been hooked ever since. The fun, the excitement, Parker not knowing what the crazy mind of his is going to put up for us. Come back because it's a lot of fun, good people. The people, uh, I love the people, I love socializing and uh, you never know what Parker is going to think of next. He always comes up with some crazy Drive stuff. Back. No other event anywhere. Parker's crazy mind. You never know what you're gonna get. Um, challenging yourself, challenging your rig, and then um, just find out what Parker new stuff is going on, like anything new they put out there. My favorite part of G6 would be hanging with all my buddies, running all together, laughing, joking, having a good time. Don't stop, have fun. If you break, fix it. Finish is winning. It's all about the fun and commodity, guys. And don't take it too serious. That's a fact. That's a fact. Anybody coming in, you're probably the funnest thing you've ever done with your scaler. Uh, the people are great. Parker's great. Um, I mean, there's nothing bad. I mean, it's all promoting fun, family, hanging with your friends. Great times. All right, to Parker, uh, for all you do for us G6ers, you know, you're always giving, traveling, uh, promoting, the sport, fun, having a good time. Uh, so I went out and uh, went with Mark uh, Betancourt. I sent him a drawing and said, hey, we got to give back to you. And so I had this trophy made that we'll be presenting to you at the Trophy Awards Sunday. As you can see, everybody's got their screen name. So finally, someone gives something back to you, bro. Who's the best looking G6er? Michael Pham. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that guy? So. Uh, my, I would say Mike Pham, but he's, uh, he's too short. Um, you know, he's too round and too short. So, um, I'd say the best looking guy who has only beat me has been uh, Skino. I think he's pretty good looking. You know, if I'm going to lose to a guy, I'm going to lose to him.